I would suggest that these shortcomings are largely a function of very powerful cross currents in the economy. Some are very positive, other, other ones are negative, and sorting these out may take years. So let me offer one more analogy to capture our outlook for 2022. Instead of automobiles, I'm going to choose trains. So think about the potential for the future recovery of the U.S. economy as delayed but not derailed. The train of recovery is experiencing major frictions on the track, but ultimately we see those impediments diminishing in severity. Let me acknowledge there are a lot of frictions. I've already noted some like inflation and the supply chain problem, but let's also include tapering and interest rate hikes from the Federal Reserve. 